I would like you to think about how your life is being manipulated. Isn't that an interesting thought? It's my life being manipulated. And so I'd like to discuss this as a true source wants me to help you understand what's going on in your lives. How is our life manipulated? Well, first of all, it's manipulated by our own fears and doubts and insecurities. More importantly, doubts whether we're weary, uh, worthy or not, whether we're good enough, whether we're acceptable enough, whether we have a good image, whether we have enough knowledge, whether we're, we're respected, whether we're loved, whether we meet a certain bar of expectation. By the way, you'll never meet your bar of expectation because once you get there, you keep raising the bar. So you never really reach it because you keep making it higher and higher and higher which could be a good thing, but after a while you become frustrated. So that's one way in which we're manipulated. Another way is we're manipulated by what people say to us. It's their opinion. More importantly, we need to realize when a person says something to you, they are mirroring what they feel about themselves. So if they're saying, you really look handsome, Michael, or Renee, you look beautiful, or Diana, you're gorgeous, what they feel about themselves or if they turn around to something negative well you don't know what you're talking about you're not smart enough or whatever they say they're mirroring their own inadequacies and inadequacies and doubts and then of course we have the press who just spreads the negativity all over the place and we begin to believe it and it lowers our vibrations or even certain types of music and like rap music can really lower your vibration. Whereas classical raises your vibrations. But there are others that are not classical that do raise your vibrations. Have you ever listened to a Nessa Dorma and heard someone sing that opera? And it almost brings tears to people's eyes. Because what it does, you feel the love and joy and raises your vibrations. That's one of the operas I kind of like. Even Madame Butterfly, I love it. But getting back to how we're manipulated and controlled is that we do not learn to love ourselves, the first self-love and self-esteem. Because we don't believe we're worthy. We don't believe we have any value. And we're constantly being manipulated by everybody, every thought. Even when you watch on TV, the clothing you should wear, the car you should drive, you're not successful unless you drive you know, a BMW or you drive an Audi or Quattro or whatever it is. So this person gets the fancy up-to-date clothing or they get the fancy car or the jewelry or the bling to make themselves feel good. See, they're being manipulated. And they're never really happy because they always need a fix. That's it, I need something else, I need something else to feel good. Need it, need it, need it, need it, need it, need it, need it. And that's the way we are. And that's the way we're programmed. Because we're not programmed to look at ourselves and see the beauty within each one of us. I don't care what your weight is. I don't care what your ethnic background is. I don't care about your age. I don't care whether you have smooth skin or wrinkly skin or you're bald or whatever you are. I care about your soul. I care about your energy and your love and how you look at life. You know, I've talked about previous times when the greatest regret people that were aging was that they didn't follow through on their dreams. Years ago, I was in the nursing home business. And I would talk to a lot of my patients, or residents, I should use the word now. And they would tell me about their lives. I learned so much. They went through the depression. They went through starving. They went through all these things. And yet here they are, 80, 90 years old, and they survived. Because necessity is the mother of invention. And it's necessity for you to get the heck out of the judgments falling into the role of others by finding what your true self is, what your true path, 
not talking about your spiritual path. What's the true path that brings about love and joy and happiness? It's to find yourself. What is it that brings you love and joy and happiness? Want to be a trillionaire? Let's just become a trillionaire. Want to enjoy life and just have fun? And just know that you can attract and manifest whatever you so desire in your life. If it brings you joy, then you can do that. You can even manifest being alone on a 747, if they still fly them anymore, the 777. And just have the whole plane to yourself and everybody taking care of you. You can do all that. But what happens is you're limited by how you're manipulated by your belief system. Years ago, I used to do a lot of intuitive readings and it was the same thing. My job, relationship, and when I'm going to get married and uh, am I going to retire comfortably. Finally, I said to the true source, I don't want that anymore. I'm so sick of hearing this. Meet some people that want some substance in their life and it changed. Once in a while, I get that question. But what's more importantly is what are you focusing on? What's manipulating your life? What's controlling your life? What's stopping you to be the greatest soul that you can ever be? What's stopping you to be a light amongst the darkness? What's stopping you from choosing a direction that raises the vibrations not only of you but others around you? And what's stopping you from bringing joy into each other's lives? And what's stopping you that you will not let yourself go into the present, but you'll live in the past. The pain, the anxiety, the past, you're making a big deal about it. It's just an experience. It's just to empower you. It's just to help you become more successful. That's all it is. You know, you're here on this planet. You came here because you wanted life. You came here to experience the sun, the breeze, the air, relationships, the smell of the flowers, and you forgot all about it. You're so wrapped up in the image of being controlled and manipulated. I have to have this and this and this. What if I don't have this? My world's going to fall apart. Stop to think about it. You manifested everything in your life. And if it's challenging, then you can change it. Get out of your heads. Get into your heart. Get into your soul. And by doing that, you will notice the synchronicity in your life. Positive synchronicity, positive love and joy, positive happiness. You know, one of the things they talk about a dog, dog, you get any of unconditional love. You yell, scream at it, throw something at it. Still loves you. Still loves you. That's the lesson that dog is bringing in your life. And if you're a cat lover, it's teaching you to be loving and strong but independent, not depending upon anyone else. So whatever animals you choose in your life, it's a lesson. And after they give you the lesson, okay, I'm out of here, I'm done, I'm finished, I'm going on vacation. Sayonara, thanks for everything. I hope you got what I, my message. And at least. But I would tell you, just like loved ones, they come back, they visit you, so do your animals. And I have the joy of uh, working with someone that Patrick introduced me to that their daughter was uh, poisoned, murdered, and uh, uh, she had a four-year-old daughter and the man ran off, the husband ran off with the daughter and was in hiding. And I sat there for dinner and I was over for dinner and the spirit true source came to me and said, you got to settle this. So I said, look guys, here's the story. It's been seven years. Your daughter's earth mouth. She wants to move on. She's in between planes. I saw her standing there being empty, wanting to move forward, but not wanting to be leave because of the pain you had. And it's your choice. You know, we can do it now, we can do it later, you can find someone else, you know, whatever works for you. And they agreed. And information came through to sustain that I was really talking to the soul. True source is wonderful, give me all these things. But the bottom line is they released her. And uh, Patrick, you were talking to Todd, weren't you? What he told you? You're on. I guess not. Anyway, two days later, Todd said he never slept so well in his family in all their life. They're finally at peace. 
and their daughter moved on to a higher place. They weren't selfish, but they were in pain. And they forgot to realize that we're all spiritual. We're just here for the experience. And we do not need to be manipulated by our fears and doubts and inadequacies. So I'm going to conclude this. And I want each one of you to think that you will not allow allow yourself to be controlled and manipulated by the opinions of others, by the thoughts of others, by anyone else. Just listen to your soul and heart. Ask for true inner source guidance. And watch magic in your life as the doors unfold for you to find true enlightenment and love in your life.